Welcome to our channel. We are all know vitamin A is an important nutrient in our diet. But you must be wondering if this vitamin has any other values and what happens with vitamin E deficiency? Or how we can identify and cure them? Whether vitamin A can be overdosed? Okay, let's get to know them. Vitamin A belongs to a group of organic compounds. Vitamin A is also called as retinol which has a molecular weight of 286.45 moles per gram. This is fat-soluble, essential nutrient for humans. The dietary requirements for women is at least 700 micrograms per day and for men and 900 micrograms per day. Vitamin A has important functions in a human body such as, maintenance of the immune system by acting as an antioxidant or stimulating white blood cell production or neuronal differentiation, neural tube patterning and protect from cancers. Moreover it helps in reproduction process during embryo growth and development. Further, it controls the integrity and function of all epithelial tissues and helps in remodeling bones. Vitamin A also plays an important function in vision by combining with the protein opsin to form rhodopsin which is a light-absorbing molecule, necessary for both low light, or scotopic vision, and color vision. Vitamin A deficiency can occur at any age but is most common in preschool-aged children and pregnant women. Vitamin A deficiency can cause a group or a spectrum of eye problems called xerophthalmia. Vitamin A deficiency can affect the production of rhodopsin and progress into night blindness or nyctalopia or inability to see well at night or in poor light or adapt to low light conditions. Vitamin A deficiency can also cause a disease called by toe spots, where keratin can build up in eyes and cause hazy visions. When it's not treated at early stages, vitamin A deficiency can progress into keratomalacia or a softening or melting of cornea by liquefactive necrosis. Moreover, vitamin A deficiency can cause skin irritations for skin becoming dry, itchy and scaly. It also can cause follicular hyperkeratosis or FKH or keratosis pilaris, or KP. This is caused by building up keratin around the hair follicles that creates bumps on the skin around friction sites of skin such as waist, hips, knees and elbows. Vitamin A deficiency also can cause slow or stunted growth especially in children, more infections and infertility and can cause anemia as well. Diagnosis of vitamin A deficiency is mainly made on the basis of clinical features such as eye examinations. Patients might be having poor vision or struggling to adjust to low light, having dry eyes and so on. Skin examinations by the presence of dry, scaly, itchy skins with bumps on the skin around friction sites of skin. Presence of vomiting and diarrhea is also a diagnosis due to the effects on digestive tract and loss of the primary barrier during pathogen infections. Nowadays, lab testing are also done to check the vitamin levels in blood. Based on current research, it usually takes one to three months of consistent supplementation to cure vitamin A deficiencies. You need to meet a doctor if you're having severe symptoms as explained before. They will recommend to have supplements based on your age, the types of symptoms and stage of the symptoms. First they'll recommend to take a high dose of vitamin A for several days, and then low doses until your symptoms start to resolve. Patients will be given retinol palmitate 30 mg orally, for two successive days, or 30 mg of vitamin A, intramuscular. Moreover, you can improve your daily dietary intake by adding vitamin and rich food sources such as oily fish, liver, beef, eggs, dairy products, or provitamin a carotenoids containing foods such as carrots, mangoes, sweet potatoes, dark green leafy vegetables, corn and tomatoes and so on. So this tells us how important to take vitamin A rich food to stay healthy. Just as vitamin A deficiency can negatively impact health, getting too much can also be dangerous. The recommended dietary allowance, RDA, for vitamin A is 900 micrograms and 700 micrograms per day for men and women, respectively. However, to prevent toxicity, it's important not to exceed the tolerable upper intake level of 10,000 IU, or 3,000 micrograms, per day for adults. Since vitamin A is fat-soluble, it's stored in your body and can reach unhealthy levels over time. Taking too much vitamin A can lead to serious side effects and can even be fatal if you ingest extremely high doses. Acute vitamin A toxicity occurs over a short time period when a single excessively high dose of vitamin A is consumed. Chronic toxicity occurs when doses more than 10 times the RDA are ingested over a longer time span. The most common side effects of chronic vitamin A toxicity or hypervitaminosis A are vision disturbances, abdominal pain, 
poor and decreasing appetite, nausea and vomiting, liver damage, dizziness, headache, confusion and mood changes, sunlight sensitivity, hair loss, joint and bone pain, bone thinning, dry and itchy skin, birth defects and delayed growth. Therefore, always follow your doctor's recommendations when intaking vitamin A supplements. We hope you got a basic idea on vitamin A from this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe our channel and like us.